All right, so I'm going to open the Xbox S. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my Christmas present for myself. Oh, I don't need a cutter. I'm just going to open it right here. So what I did was I purchased a um, Xbox Pass. How do I open this? stickers on each side. Okay, why don't I just uh, use my cutter? Alright, there it is. Xbox. Wow. Oh, it's quite heavy, but not as heavy as this one here. Power of your dreams. And what else does it come? It comes with a console. And where is the oh, controller right in here? So the power cable. Oh, this is the HDMI cable. The power cord. And the controller. Does the controller come with the battery? If not, then I'm going to use the battery I purchased from Staples. Oops. I heard some batteries there. Here's the batteries. Yes, Duracell batteries, perfect. So I will plug this on. If you're continuing to watching, thank you for watching. Hopefully you get an Xbox as well. I'm gonna open this, okay, there we go. And this is my first Xbox for myself. There you go, very nice. I'm so happy to, to get this, to open this. All right, so I'm gonna move this to here. All right. So I don't have a 4K TV, but I do have a 1080. I do have my, what do I have? I do have a PS3. So I'll move this aside, I'm going to put this over here, and then here's my cable, my power cable. Let's see how, how long it takes to set this up. I'm going to remove all these. This plastic here. All right, so power cord, power cable, right over here. There's also a storage expansion, HDMI out, SB, USB, two USB ports, and then an ethernet cable port. I don't know if anyone's still doing the ethernet, so I'm not sure why that is there, but it is there for a reason. I'm gonna plug this to my, oh, I have a power bar down there. Um, Okay, I can try doing that. All right, plugged in, plugged in HDMI cord, HDMI cord. Oh. I'm actually enjoying it. I don't know if you guys enjoy it. You, might, you guys might find it boring. You can fast forward. 
till I can finally plug this up. Oh, there's one right here. And then the other one is right here. There it is. Found it. All right. I'm going to plug this into my console. There we go. HDMI. HDMI. And then plug into my HDMI port. My second one. Mario. Seat. My second one. There we go. So it's all plugged in. All right. And then controller. Xbox controller. Can't wait to play with this. I got the uh, Duracell battery. Duracell battery. How much time am I at now? Six minutes to set this up. And then maybe six minutes to set this up and then maybe another half an hour to install updates and all that. So how to open this. How do I do this? I'm not just not used to using batteries for controllers. I'm usually a PS3, PS4, PS5 guy. Okay, after, after some struggle, I finally get to open this. And <laughs> I don't know what the design is. There's no way to actually grip this cover. So all you need to do is just keep, keep pulling and then try to try to get the slit in. But this is such a bad design, in my opinion. Being a first time user, this is really hard to open up. I don't know if you have the same problem, same concern, battery pack. See, I'm still struggling. Even though I've done it a couple of times, I'm still struggling to open this. All right, so finally I get to open this. I actually have to I don't have any nails because I cut all my nails down, so that's why maybe that's hard. That's one, but maybe they should have a little, little dip in here on the on the cover, so you can actually pull on it. But there's nothing to pull on this. This is very strange as a first time user. So okay, finally get to open it. I'm gonna put these batteries in. Okay, plus plus, so minus. Okay, I know my plus is minuses for sure. Definitely, and let's do output to, oh, even the, the TV has turned off itself because it took me so long to do this controller. All right. So I'm gonna turn this on, power. Oh, I'm on TV mode. Nothing. Hmm. Okay, did I plug it in properly? <sighs> I'm pretty sure I did. There we go. I hear something. So the light is on. So that's that's a good sign. HDMI 2. There we go. Wow. That was a struggle. 
Oh, I'm all sweaty again already. Okay, how do I get... Okay, so wait till it loads. Okay, I need to set up with my phone. And I'm actually taking a video with my phone. With the Xbox app. All right, how do I do this? All right, so all right, so I just get to set up my uh, my cell phone. Now I just got to enter the code onto my cell phone. V C Z B. Oops. C Z B A. Connecting to console. All right, so we are connected. Very good. Next, English. USA, USA, and I'm using English Canadian. Yep, next. So internet doesn't seem to be working. There it is. There we go, We're joining your console to the Wi Fi. Let's get this rolling. Come on, console is online. Got, uh, got updated, 831 megs. I'm gonna, there's two options, energy saving or instant on. So I'm trying instant on. Keep games at up to date. Remote features, sure. And then now we're updating. So it looks like it's downloading really quickly. One of three. Two of three. How many minutes are we in? Two minutes. So we're about 15 minutes in and we're still setting it up. All right, so now checking system settings. While I'm doing this, I'm entering my digital codes that I got from Costco. It was $60. I bought, I'm trying to get the 30. Okay, why am I, why is my name so strange? That is not my name. I'm doing the update for the controller. Oh, so I finished it, finished updating my controller.
All right, I've done setting up everything. It took me maybe half an hour just to play around on my... All right, so here it is. On my computer, it says... Yeah, it says, uh, where does it say? So now I have added the, uh, the 12 months, 12 months, six months. And then now I have total of three years. So today is December 24th, 2020. And then I am good till January 27, 2020. So now I have th three years of, of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Um, let's see where I can get some games. That was all games. So my first one I need is the NHL. Okay, where is Austin Matthews? There it is. I'm going to install it. Okay, it will automatically install. My next game would be FIFA. Oh, Gears is good. I'll install Gears. I will install Forza Horizon 4 for sure. And then where is FIFA? FIFA 20 for sure. And maybe I'll just wait it out. Any other recommendations, suggestions? I think that's good for now. So that's it. Um, I will set, I will do another video once I've uploaded everything. And maybe Arc looks good. Maybe I'll install Arc, but maybe later. Very excited. Maybe Battlefield. Battlefield 5. So that's it. Okay, I'll be back. Oh wow, long overdue, yo. Yo, yo, yo. And I've installed 33% already and I'm already playing it. And I'm quite impressed. I'm happy to be able to play the newest uh, hockey game this early, even though the, the download is not done yet here. I'll pause it. Let's take a look. So it's at 37%. If you can see, NHL's at 37% and I'm already playing parts of the game already. So that is very impressive. And I, what other games do I have? Yeah, so. All right, so I just played my first game, lost three nothing. I was playing the Blues. Um... All right, so I just finished my first game with the Xbox S and playing the NHL 20. So far, it is at 47% download. And uh, I played, there's, there's, so far, the mode is only Stanley Cup mode, the uh, Team Canada mode, and some other mode, like one on one, uh, one on one practice mode. So while it is downloading, I can already play some games. So that is cool. Um, so definitely, I'm happy with this purchase. Very good. The controls are very nice. Thumbs up to um, to the Xbox S. Uh, this controller is amazing, and coming from uh, a casual gamer that passed on that they didn't get the the last generation console so i was playing ps3 all this time for about nine years and then finally i get the xbox s so definitely i see some changes a lot of changes actually so i'm pretty happy with this purchase and this opening so thank you so much um i'm gonna head to bed now so uh give me a thumbs up subscribe uh, leave some comments on below and I'll see you later. Take care. Thanks. Bye